Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel Daisy DIY. So today I'm sharing with you guys five easy Valentine's DIY. This video it's a part of the Valentine's collab that I'm hosting for the first time in my channel with my friend Selena from the Rocking Designs channel. I will leave the link of her channel below and also I will leave the link of the video. I hope you enjoy and please show some support to her channel. She has an amazing channel with a lot of beautiful projects that she's created. So Thank you so much. For the first project, I'm going to be using one wood decor sign that I got from Dollar Tree. And here's the item number if you guys need it. To paint it, I'm using the Restylane Chalkboard Paint on color white that I got from Amazon. So I'm just going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. So you guys can see, I'm starting painting it a little bit the sign. I want the wood to show a little bit through. You guys know that I love this technique. So it has this distressed look that we're looking for also i just paint the edges of the heart too and to distress the heart i'm using the waverly chalk paint on color anti-wax that i got from walmart so with my brush i'm just using a little bit of paint and i'm just doing first the edges of the heart and once i'm done doing the edges i'm just going to start painting a little bit inside of the heart you guys can see i'm not using a lot of paint so once we're done we're just going to start creating lines and for that i'm just using my pencil i'm going to be using this color pencil on color brown and i'm just gonna do the same step so i didn't measure anything i just kind of eyeball it and i just create this line so once i was done i'll just start distressing the lines with my finger The next thing, I'm going to be using this 3D reef that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm using the bigger one. So in the part where the reef it was connected, I just bend it a little bit and I just disconnected the reef. Once I was done, I just start creating this heart and I just give it the shape of the heart. I'm using this nautical robe that I got from Dollar Tree. It's the first time that they have this nautical robe and I was really happy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take it all apart so that we have three separate strings. And once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to start gluing it on the reef. And to glue it, I'm just using a little bit of hot glue. So I'm going to do the same step until I finish covering all the reef all around. So on the end, what I did with the remain piece, I just used my scissors to cut it. And once I was done, you guys can see this part that it's un kind of unraveled. So to fix that, I just want to put this jute twine all around. And once I was done, I just used a little bit of hot glue to hold it. So I just start wrapping it a few times. And once I was done, I just used my scissors to cut it. So it kind of looks that we just create small tassels on the end of the heart once i was done i just glued this part of the middle of the heart so it can hold weight better and once i was done i just glued the heart on the top of the wood heart also i'm gonna be using this welcome sign that i got from dollar tree i think they're from valentine's too i had it for a really long time so i'm just gonna put it right here in the middle and to glue it i'm just using hot glue also i'm gonna be using a few pieces of this greenery to put on the bottom and to glue it i'm just using hot glue and to hang our wall decor piece i just used the same jute twine that it came with And this is how it looks our project once we're done let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this project i think it turned out really beautiful please let me know what you guys think
For the next project, I'm gonna be using this wood cutout that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm using the heart only. And also, I'm using another small heart that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And to paint it, I'm using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white, and also I'm using the Waverly chalk paint on color anti wax. So you guys can see, I'm just painting the heart with a little bit of paint because I want the wood to show a little bit. And I'm gonna do the same step with the small heart. Heart. and once they're completely dry I'm going to be distressing the heart on the edges and for that I'm just using that Waverly chalk paint on color anti wax and I'm just using a little bit of paint and I'm going to do the same step with the small heart so once I'm done I'm just going to start creating lines and I just did three lines and two lines in the middle and once I was done I just used my fingers to distress it and to glue it I'm just using hot glue The next thing I'm going to be using is going to be this beautiful wall decor that I just created on my channel. And I will link the link of this video so you guys can go and see it step by step what I did. So I'm just going to put the heart in the middle and I'm just going to use it with the clip to put it. I'm not going to glue anything. So the beautiful about this wall decor is with the clip that it has here in the middle. You guys can remove the decor that you guys put and just put a new one that you guys want to display in your house. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this project? For the next project, I'm going to be reusing a picture frame that I had on hand. So I got this picture frame at home and it was $20, but I'm so sure I pay like less than that because they always have their picture frame on sale. So what I did, I just removed this part from the back and also the piece of the cardboard. I'm going to be reusing the back of the picture frame for this project. And to paint it, I'm using the Restaurant chalkboard paint on color white and to paint it I'm using this small brush that I got from Dollar Tree so you guys can see I'm not painting the cardboard all the way because I want the cardboard to show a little bit so I just did one coat and I just let it dry the next thing I'm gonna be creating line so my piece of cardboard it measured 12 inches so every inch I just start marking the lines and once I was done I just start connecting the lines I just use my finger to distress the lines I'm going to use this chalkboard tags that I got from Dollar Tree and also this ribbon that I got from Amazon. So I'm going to be using the four hearts and also I just cut four pieces of the ribbon and here's the measurement. It measured eight inches just in case that you guys need it. So I'm just going to start creating a small bows to put it right here in the middle. So I'm going to do the same step with all of them and this is how it looks once you're done to glue it i'm just going to use hot glue also i'm going to be using this metal sign that i got from dollar general i just got it for one dollar and fifty cents i'm just going to place it right here in the middle and i'm just going to be using my pencil to mark the line so i can guide from this line to glue it i'm going to use also this time tags that i got from dollar tree and i'm just going to need four so what i did with my buyers i just cut the pointy part of the thumb tags and to glue our sign i'm using the e6000 and a combination with hot glue so so it can hold a little bit better. And once I'm done, I'm just going to start putting the thumb tags in the side of the metal sign. And to glue it, I'm just using hot glue. I'm just going to start gluing the heart in the bottom of the sign. And I just use my pencils. I just mark the line so I can guide from this line to put the heart. And to hang our picture frame, I'm using the same hanger that I had. But I'm going to put them on the other side of the picture frame.
And this is how it looks our project once we're done. I think it turned out really beautiful. If you guys want, you guys can paint that frame any colors that you guys love. It will look really beautiful too. But please let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about this project? For the next project, I'm going to be using this wood sign that I got from Dollar Tree and it's really beautiful just the way it is the sign. I decided to paint the edges of the sign and for that I'm using the Waverly Chalk Paint on Color Mineral that I got from Walmart. So I'm going to do two coats and I'm just going to let it dry. So once we're done doing the second coat on the edges of the frame, I'm going to be using just a little bit of paint on the top. I am just want to be a little bit of distressed the sign. So once I'm done and it's completely dry, I'm going to be using this sandpaper to sand the top of the frame. I'm going to use this green eater that I had on hand and I'm just going to start gluing it on the bottom of the heart and to glue it I'm just going to use hot glue. So once I'm done doing this I'm going to be using this jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree. So what I did I just create a small bow to put them on the middle of the heart. To glue it I'm just using hot glue. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this project. I think it turned out really beautiful but please let me know what you guys think. And for our last project, I'm going to be using the other side of that frame. So I'm just painting the edges with the same paint. And I just did one coat because I just want to be distressed a little bit. I'm using the same heart that we just did on the previously project. So I repeat the same step. I use the Waverly Chuck paint on color white. And I just use Waverly Chuck anti-wax. And I just create these lines. And I just distress it with my finger. So once I was done I just glue the two hearts together and to glue it I'm just using hot glue. I'm going to glue the heart inside of the wood sign and for that I'm just using hot glue but if you guys want a strong hole I would recommend you guys to use 86000 for permanent hold. I'm going to use this green eater that I had on hand and I'm just going to start gluing it on the bottom of the heart and to glue it I'm just going to use hot glue. So once I'm done doing this I'm going to be using this jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree so what I did I just create a small bow to put them on the middle of the heart to glue it I'm just using hot glue And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about our last project. I think all five projects turned out really beautiful but please let me know which one was your favorite. So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.